Last year, I showed you how you can use a hair pick to make cutting certain produce really easy. And today, we're going to look at what else you can cut using the hair pick. It works really well with mushrooms because they're nice and soft. Just push the hair pick straight through and use a sharp knife to cut in between each prong. You get these really neat, even slices, which are perfect for things like topping a pizza. I thought it would be fun to try using it with a pepper. So I pushed it through and sliced it up. It worked pretty well, giving me these rings of pepper. And of course, you can remove the stalk and clean out the inside if you like. Ready for cooking. It's handy for courgettes too. You can just leave them as circles or cut them in half as well. Pretty cool, huh? It makes it really easy and it avoids having to get your fingers close to the knife blade like you would otherwise. It can also be really useful for cutting things like meat. I'll show you with this chicken breast. I'm actually slicing in between every second prong to make the pieces a bit bigger. What's great is you don't actually have to handle the meat. It cuts it really well and you can use it to move the meat straight into the pan. I gave the hair pick a good clean and decided to try using it with a hard boiled egg. These are duck eggs and once I had peeled it, I placed it on the chopping board and tried out the pick. It started out fine, but unfortunately it all broke up. It was able to slice the egg white really nicely, but when I got to the yolk, it fell apart. Next on the list was an apple. And this worked really well. I'm fanning it out on this plate to serve. And I'm also going to try using it to cut a persimmon. These are delicious sweet fruit which cut really well with a hair pick. You can see they have a sort of star pattern in the middle. And I'm laying them out on the plate next to the apple, ready to serve. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see the last video I made using the hair pick, you can click on the link or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.